Hi, I'm Lucy. Welcome to Beverly's. Today, we're going to show you how to make a cheesecloth ghost. Because Halloween is coming up quick, and these are the perfect addition to your Halloween decor. So what you're going to want to start out with is a styrofoam cone, and a styrofoam ball, and some glue. And you're going to want to glue the ball to the top of your styrofoam. And to make the arms, you're going to need some 16 gauge wire. Doesn't matter what length, what size, it's all up to you. And you can twist it into hand. And all you need to do is stick it in and use cutters to make it the length and size you want. But before you start draping your cheesecloth, you're going to need to remember that you need to wrap the arms in saran wrap. Just wrap it around and back across the shoulders. And then before you start working with the fabric stiffener, you need to put on gloves because it can be quite hard on your hands. So you're going to need a large bowl, a bottle of fabric stiffener, and once you pour it in, you're going to need to add half water to dilute the solution. Stir well. And then I recommend using three large pieces of one yard length cheesecloth, or approximately. You're going to want to dip it into the solution, make sure it's totally submerged, wring it out, and then you can drape it across your shape, any way you like, any direction. And a cool effect to use on your cheesecloth ghost is to pull the edges and kind of give it a windy sort of feel. Another cool effect is to use bottles and candles to drape across to give it a wind-blown kind of feeling. The ghost takes about 24 hours to dry, so don't rush it, and make sure you don't dry your ghost on newspaper because once it sticks, it can make a bad addition to your cheesecloth ghost. And then, once it's dry, you can decorate it any way you want. I chose black paint for the eyes, but we have a wide selection of Google Eyes, Raffia, Flowers, Ribbon, whatever your taste. 